Hold up, wait a minute. Let me put some locks in it. It's Vlogmas Day 19! Woo! What it do, y'all? Welcome back to my channel, family. I'm super excited today. I'm super freaking excited today. Y'all don't even understand why I'm excited. This may be... Hold on, I got a little something on my mouth. <laughs> this may be for my natural girls, you know, for my sister lot queen, my lot queens, my natural queens. You know what I mean? Or for the ones that's trying to go there, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what you want to do, how you want to do it, when you want to do it, or why you want to do it. I'm here to tell you. You should do it. I'm trying to tell you. Lock queen, sister locks, four years in, baby. You see? Do you see the swing? Do you see the length? Four years. Okay. I'm here to tell you. I'm here for it, and you should be here for it. It's watch day, though, y'all. That's why I'm super excited. It's watch day, it's watch day, it's watch day. Let me show y'all up close. You see this? Baby, dirty. I'm trying to tell you. This right here is not what you want. It's dirty. It don't even really itch. It's just dirty, y'all. But we here to solve all the problems today. <laughs> we here for it. That's what they made Dove for. I don't know about y'all. I don't use all that natural shampoo and conditioner. Everybody be saying and wondering what natural... I use Dove shampoo and Dove conditioner. Do I need to repeat myself? Dove, you know, like the sh the body wash, but they got shampoo and conditioner. That's what I use for these sister locks. And you see how healthy and nourished and not dry they are because I only use Dove. I'm trying to tell you, let me show you. This is the product I use, Dove shampoo and moisturizer that's it it's just so daily moisture that's it that's why my hair looks so moist plus i use oil sheen from time to time and stuff like that and a little water and oil and spray it and put it in the bottle and spray it on my hair so that part too duh probably ain't got total you know everything to do with it but like i was saying it's wash day we about to get to it it's oh this is the best vlogmas day to me because we're gonna wash my hair and we're gonna style my hair when i mean by style we're gonna put some little perm rods or probably some little twisty rod things on it whatever they call it to make your hair twist up at the end and make it be all curly and stuff so when i take it out it'll be dripping dripping i try to say but anyway before we get into this video i want to tell you I have my lock. I had my locks for years, as I told y'all. I love them. I don't regret them. They're the best decision I ever made in my life when it comes down to my hair. When I try to tell you, I'm trying to tell you. Do something else I want to tell y'all. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna show y'all my pictures from beginning to now, or just give y'all some pictures to show y'all my progress and my growth. I'm trying to tell you, like, baby grew. I grew from this, and I'm gonna show you proof while I'm watching my hair. Make sure you watch. And look at every single picture I post. I'm going to, you know, roll them through. May take a few seconds for me to roll next one. But be patient. Trust me. They're going to be worth the wait. You're going to be like, D what? What? But let's get into washing this hair.
Yeah. I should have timed myself. I don't know how long it took. I never looked at the clock before I started. But it usually takes me about 15 minutes or whatever. If I'm washing, scrubbing, scrubbing really hard, maybe 20. And I feel like I was scrubbing probably hard too. So, okay, let's go downstairs so we can, so I can show you how I kind of like, you know, style it or whatever, twist it up or braid it up and style it. Go downstairs to my beauty room, that is. Okay, let me pause my Pandora and plug up my lights. Hangy lights to be on. Yeah, I don't even want to take it out because it's so wet. Okay, here it comes. Oh, <laughs> Ooh. you know what? This towel is too wet. Well, OMG, oh, my hair feels so like a lot of heat is coming from him. That's one thing my hair did, like, you know, when I used to wear um, press like wraps and stuff, like, you know, press and flat irons or whatever my hair hold heat and it still holds heat like after i get done washing and stuff or you wash it with hot water or warm water i can feel the heat in my locks and baby do you talking about smelling good <sighs> another thing the dove gonna mur like moorish <laughs> moorish it's gonna nourish your hair it's gonna have it moist moisturized and it's gonna smell good so that's three right there that's <laughs> major three you know what i'm saying moisture make it feel good and smell good man i'm trying to tell y'all i try to tell y'all so i'm trying to come up with can y'all see me or do i need to turn it up a little bit more is it, is it good if we good are they we good okay so i'm trying to think how do i want to do it do i want to braid it to the back or do i do 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 i do i do i do <laughs> do i want to do like a whole bunch of individual braids now he's right here these are actually palm rods, the blue ones or whatever. Now them are great when you braid it up into French braids and then ride the end of them and leave it in for a day or something, take them out. Honey, honey child, please. And I also put little mini black rubber bands on the end of them before I put my perm rods on it because in the middle of the night or somehow through the day your perm rods might end up slipping off if you don't put the rubber band you you need to put the rubber band I'm telling you complete that first get you a little pack of rubber bands they a dollar I braid my hair up and stuff this is what I moisturize my hair with individually each braid moisturize with this I'm telling you Africa's best is the best <laughs> for me anyway and this is no promo no promo and this is what i use for, to lay my edges down i just use eco oh wait it's blurring y'all ain't got no focus there focus camera yeah this is some eco gel that i use to lay my edges down it do wonderful on the edges i'm trying to tell you don't put the, you don't need the edge control all you need is the gel and a scarf or something to lay it down afterwards don't have no blow dryer with it too i'm trying to tell you edges will be on fleek fleek i'm gonna put my part in the middle and we're gonna braid down the sides and back gotta do what we gotta do so basically i parted it down the middle and then i'll just take some hair down that's my hair that i'm gonna braid so i'm gonna put the rest like in a you know like a bun or a ponytail so it won't get in the way so much easier like so easier <laughs> it was so short you know but now it's you know it's a little different now so basically that's the hair but i just pulled out so now the step to do do is put the moisturizer on my finger and then moisturize the hair so that's for every step every braid you have to moisturize it before you braid it if you don't know how to french braid i mean I don't know <laughs> like this is the French braiding tip because I do know how to do a little something with braiding so that's what I do to my sister locks I just wash them moisturize them and braid them and leave it in for 24 hours or have a long if I'm not going nowhere especially I'll leave it in for longer than that because the longer you keep them in the longer they're gonna pop so that's just what it is. You parting your hair off and braiding however many braids you want to put in your hair. Actually, the smaller they are, the better because the bigger they are, it's going to be a little bit harder to when you get down to the ends to kind of merge your hair together because it's going to be too thick and too big to actually get that 
sufficient braid so you don't want to do really big big jumbo braids because you want to be able to get that braid in you know what i'm saying all the way down to the end not just up here and then it's unraveling at the bottom that's not going to complete the look that i'm trying to do or i'm trying to tell you to do so as i told y'all i'm almost down to the end do not braid all the way down to the end because you don't want to get your hair all locked up and tangled up and you can't get that braid out it's really hard to try to get that braid out when you braid it all the way all the way to the end so just go like you know right before the end so you'll be able to have somewhere to start to unravel that braid and put that black rubber band at the end this is the steps and i love it it's like the process is you know you gotta take a little time but the results you be like yes so like i said see that and then you want to take that perm rod start it at the end how do it yeah start it at the end and roll it and roll it so however far you know it go or you know you or you want it to go and then you got to put the end piece on there so it can hold you see that that's how you want it to look at the end so it can hold like that and you'll be good to go and it's gonna hold all day and night however long you want it to hold because you got the rubber band on the end and, and the perm rod is going to hold so I'm like I said I'm gonna tune back in to show y'all how they all are gonna look before the glam you must see the before the glam so you can appreciate the after oh my doggy decided to come down she looks so cute with her little one ponytail y'all the groomer gave her one ponytail in her head y'all you have to watch my other videos watch my vlogs or whatever if you just tuned in just for my sister locks watch my other vlogs or i think it's one where it's labeled as carly got groomed and snow day and stuff like that she looks so stinking cute but anyway i want to tell y'all i'm on the third braid now you know just taking my time listening to my christmas music and stuff jamming out you know taking my time actually doing my braids so they won't unravel and so they can be kind of neat to at the same time because i mean you have to look at it too you know around even if you're around the house you know what i'm saying you can just throw something up there but you know you want it just a little neat it's not the neatest but it'll do <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i got three in as y'all can see i still got all <laughs> this side in the back to go so like i say i don't know it might be eight it might be ten but i'm trying not to do jumbo ones so yeah y'all hear her crying she like take me outside you know what i say <coughs> mommy gonna have to stand in the door my hair wet okay i gotta take her outside i'll be right back y'all <laughs> and i got thirsty y'all Yo, we get in there. We almost there. So I'm the second braid from the last. So I just got one more right here. I'm gonna make this all. I'm gonna try to make this all one braid right here. We almost done. Woo! We made it, y'all. I'm on the last braid, putting the last rubber band on there, and then I'm gonna put the perm right on there. Oh, mg, y'all. This is a uh, um. It's just it's a little work into it but like i said the results are phenomenal so i did get nine braids i have one at the back that's missing one and i think i'm well i know i'm gonna put this on there because i don't want that to be you know odd or whatever so this one right here was missing one so we're gonna just <laughs> roll this yellow one up i mean nobody can really see the back and nobody's really gonna see me anyway but my man you know it's like whatever he know what it is <laughs> he know what it is when you take them when i take it down that's all that matters you know what i'm saying it'd be worth looking like Celie or felicia from on friday it'd be worth it then so i'm gonna put all my stuff back up let me show y'all again just in case y'all forget africa's best shea butter curls you can use this for your regular natural hair you know like if you don't have locks and you you and you do like wash out you know i think they wash out twist outs or whatever and you do like wash and goes and twist and goes and stuff like that put that in your hair wash your hair and then moisturize your hair with that and braid it up or twist it and put the perm rise on whatever i'm trying to tell you baby look i'm gonna spray a little oil sheen on my hair even while it's wet i don't know sometimes i like to do that while it's wet even 
my scalp especially because I just don't want it to be like really dry it'll start itching and stuff and I don't the more you scratch it the more it mess up like far as your your roots and your frizziness and stuff so I try to keep my hair very moisturized so I want <laughs> so I want um, that's my that's my boyfriend takes me now so I want um <laughs> this one close neither. Okay, there are. Okay, baby. <laughs> so it won't um, you know, be itching and I have to scratch it and mess it up because it's been about a month and I get my hair done. I get my hair I get my sister likes retighten every six weeks. It's been about four weeks now, I think exact, or right around that time, and they still looking good. Like you can still actually see my scalp and it's been four weeks. And what I mean by that, if you don't know what I'm talking about, like still see my scalp. If you have socialized then you know like once your roots and stuff everything start growing like you can't see your scalp no more it's just all your new growth growed in and you can't see your scalp and i have two more weeks and it's still looking good i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because i like new growth i love new growth i have new growth but of course i just braided my hair too so you're gonna see in there a little bit more but yeah i do have new growth because you can tell a little bit but they still kind of crispy or whatever. Mine's don't start really messing up or getting like that until closer to like it's about to be my retightening day. It's, I don't know. It's something about that. Like that's why I go every six weeks because that's when it's just like my edges start getting too wild. My new growth start getting too thick and that's when I go like six weeks. So right now at a month it still looks very good. Now I was debating am I going to go before Christmas or before the new year because my day to get retightened is the day after new year's no we're not about to bring in the new year like that so i'm planning to maybe go before new year so i need to actually text my um my lactician so i can get my dating or whatever because we're not about to do that we're not about to come in the new year and like dang i wish i got my hair retightened or you know you say you want you want everything to be fresh a new beginning you know what i'm saying so this is the look right now before this is the before and then i'll be back to show y'all the after and stuff i'll lay my edges down and everything then i'm gonna come back and unravel it for y'all and show y'all the results i'm telling you it's phenomenal it's phenomenal <laughs> see you when i unravel it all right i'm back it's the next morning and my braids are dry my perm rods seem like they good and stable none of them came out so this should be a great great curl i can't wait to take them out i did a little something time on my makeup so now it's time to let this hair flow i didn't lay my edges down so okay i'm going with the all you know natural look my edges can you know they'll be fine so i'm gonna unravel them and then show y'all the results are finished i still got my part down the middle but i'm thinking i want it to be on the side i don't know i don't think i wore it down the middle in a while when i had my curls so we might keep it but it's something about when i get that side part in do y'all see the curls like look at the curls aren't they bomb <sighs> let me turn around so you can see the back isn't it lovely and this is how you like get them all together just tease them all in your scalp together 
so they won't look, you know, broke up and stuff, like braided, like how it was. OMG. <laughs> look at that. I love the swing. I love to be able to swing it like that, my curls. Bomb. Hunty. I freaking love it. So we might stick with the middle part today. Or if not, then sometimes I just like part it over here and then just swing it to the side. But I might mess with the middle part today. Because like I said, I haven't had it in a while. But I don't know. Side part looking back cute to me again. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put some locks in it. Hold up. Wait a minute. Okay. Um. We might be going with the side part. Because um, I don't know. I just can never get tired of my side part. It's just, it just always do its job. It do its do, as you can tell. So this is the results of a braid out with some perm rods at the end and your locks. You can do this in your regular natural hair also too, after you wash it and braid it up or twist it out and put the perm rods. But it even come out awesome, as you can tell, the sister locks also. So it's like some people think they're so limited once they get the sister locks and stuff like that, but you can style your hair just as if you were styling your rec your regular hair and stuff with ponytails, high ponytails, low ponytails, buns, braid outs, twist outs, um, what do they call them? French rolls with the pinups and the and the curly hair coming down. Like it's so many styles you can do. So don't think you're limited. If you was a person that tuned in to, you know, trying to get ideas and maybe see if you wanted to get some. I'm telling you, they are the best thing ever happened to me. As far as my hair, I'm trying to tell you. So I'm gonna get up closer so you can actually see those curls popping. Oh, those curls are popping. And also, if you want to know what lip I have on, it's a um, Sand Pink NYX lip liner with like the Strawberry Buttercream NYX lip gloss. It might look like a lipstick, but it's actually a lip gloss and a lip liner. Yeah. And I use Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and Maybelline Eyelash, you know, to curl out my eyelashes because I don't wear lashes. I just, and I do the bottom also. And then I put like some little NYX highlighter on and then I put a little blush on and some bronzer. It's eat. That's the loop. So make sure you smash the like button for this video. You can comment down below. I chit chat back. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Click the notification bell after you subscribe so you won't miss no videos that I drop. But for now, your girl is out. Peace.